Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back after a sensational week of going seven for seven. I'm making all y'all a ton of money. It's good to be back. Uh, Really quiet week this week. Uh, I'm going to also be gone this week. Uh, I'm going to be on vacation with my family, so I'm not going to be here. I'm going to do this show, and it's going to be a little different because I haven't found any odds yet. I've checked professional boxing odds. My book, which is DraftKings, didn't have anything. So I'm just going to break down the fight and give you a prediction on the fight. Um, And then I'm going to try to go live at least once or twice this week uh, while I'm on vacation. Bring my equipment with me. Try to go live uh, for y'all. But we're going to get into Jarrett Hurd and Jason Rosario. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make me betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, it's also in that little ticker below. Just five dollars a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. Um, it really does. I went seven for seven. We have the lock of the week. The lock of the week makes you makes you money every single week. Um, we'll recap real quick, but it, it was uh, an unbelievable week for us and for you guys if you're taking the advice. Uh, but please like, share, and subscribe. Also, uh, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. The Patreon gets you a ton of perks. Gets you the as the book anything. Gets you the updated prop bets. It gets you request a video. You can request I do a video. Ask me about any fight. I'll show you how to make money on every single fight. So last week we went seven for seven. Uh, we hit on the lock of the week, which was uh, Bent, uh, Denzel Bentley on the money line, Jahai Tucker on the money line, Abdullah Mason on the money line, and uh, and Billy on the money line. Then we took Guido Vianello to win, and we took Bel- uh, Vianello and uh, Mahmoudov to not go the distance. We hit on that as well. And then we hit on Jahai Tucker to win by decision. So the, all seven of those bets hit last week. All those videos are up uh, for the lock of the week. Join the Patreon. So we want to get into this Jarrett Hurd and Jason Rosario fight. And when I saw this, I was like, you got to be kidding me. 2019 called and they want their fight back. Uh, but then you look at this and Jarrett Hurd and Jason Rosario, it, it's a fun fight. It's an entertaining fight for sure. Uh, Jarrett Hurd has slowed down. Um, and he's not he's no longer you know the biggest hitter at 160 like he was at 54. He's stationary. He's in front of you. He's a plotting come forward pressure fighter. Nothing has changed there. Um, you know, I, I know he tried to be a slickster in some of his fights, but that that didn't work. Uh, he, he commits to his shots. He throws hard. Uh, but he's slow. His hands, um, his head is on the line. He's he's easy to hit, but he's a straight in physical force. He looks to break you down. He has bad tendencies, like he. Jabs in the mid range, which is absolutely no good. There's too much one punch at a time, and he's just really looking aged and shot. He's not. He pushes with his jab. He's not really throwing it. He's like pushing it out there. There's no lateral movement. Uh, he's strong as an ox, but he's slow plotting pressure fighter, right? And he just wants to break you down. He's got a durable chin. He's shot. He's he's an aged out fighter. Uh, who was exceptionally fun, had a really entertaining run. He can put the pressure on. He can take him shots. And he, and he can fire. He can hurt you. Uh, There's just not a lot left in the tank for him, unfortunately, because Jared Hurd won. He said he's on my wall. As you can see him right over there. Jared Hurd, good dude. Uh, he's, just not, he's not the one anymore. The inactivity has been crazy with uh, with Jared Hurd as well. The, the inactivity... He fought. Let's go through this again. He lost to uh, Julian Williams, J Rock, in 2019, five years ago. Since then, he fought Francisco Santana, and that's the fight I was chit chatting about when I was saying he was trying to get slick and try to be smooth again. Uh, then he took a year and a half off. He fought Luis Rosario. Uh, then, and he got lost a split decision to uh, Luis Aries. Uh, then. That was in 2021, and, and two years later, he fought Jose Armando Resendez, and then he fought Ty Edmonds back in December on a fight that I think was untelevised. He finally got a win, um, 
And then now he's got this Rosario fight. Jason Rosario also largely inactive, but nothing to the effect of uh, J-Rock. He, he last fought in November against a 16-9 guy in the Dominican Republic. And his last big fight before that was a year prior when he fought Brian Mendoza, and he got stopped uh, in five rounds. So there's been some inactivity in Rosario, too. He's 24-4-1. You know, he slowed down, too. Uh, but he's got a little, left, a little bit more left in the tank. A little bit more combinations out of him. Uh, he likes to be in the middle ring also, but a little more movement. He can slip shots a little bit. There's a little bob and weave to him. Nice jab. He sticks his jab out there. He's also a come forward guy. Better volume, better movement, good body puncher, hard body shots, really, really commits to the body. Throws nice, clean shots. His elbow's in, he's tight, he's not as sloppy, he's not as flawed as hurt. And I, I think that's gonna be what's what saves him. He stays off the front, he stays on the front foot too. Uh he's open to the body. Uh, he's easy to hit in the body. Mello, uh, Mello, Jamel what was targeting the body. It wasn't just that one jab that looked like it killed him, but I mean which is one of the most surprising things I've seen, but he was targeting the body. He he had thrown that shot prior to that over and over again, and he finally got it through. When it landed, it, it's like, okay, that's a clean shot, kind of. It kind of deflected off his elbow, and, and that was a really strange shot that Charlo hit him with. But he got good skills on the inside, uh, good power still. He's composed. He doesn't throw a lot. Um but he, he's selective with his shots, but he throws good, clean shots, and he can keep you up against the ropes. He applies pressure well. He's just a little bit slow in plotting, too, and his chin might be questionable. He's been knocked out four times, so that might be something to keep an eye on. He got knocked out with that body shot, but he also got knocked out by Mendoza. He got knocked out by Lubin, and if you go all the way back, Early in his career, he got knocked out by Nathaniel Gallimore back in 2017. So this is a guy with a checkered past, and he has a draw with Marcos Hernandez. Um, that's interesting. Uh, Marcos Hernandez, 16-7-2. It's interesting. I'm interested in seeing what card that's on. Devin Alexander and Victor Ortiz cars. Interesting. Okay. Uh, but so that's basically it. Now, again, there are no odds out on this fight that I can find. How do I see this fight going down? I, I just think that it's a fun fight. It's some combustion. It's some good action. I, I think Rosario is the better pure boxer and he can win rounds. And on the inside, he's more skilled and there's more left in the gas tank for him. Now he is does have a questionable chin and, and, and hurt is a fun pressure fighter. Still has some some pop in his shots and he may have some moments, but ultimately I think Rosario carries a decision here. I think it's a uh, high action, somewhat competitive fight, but I think you're going to see Rosario pull away late and he's going to put rounds in the bank uh, and he's going to win a, a competitive, but clear decision. So I like Rosario uh, on the money line. Whenever that comes out, join the Patreon, take a look at it. But I'll try to do another video. I'll try to do another live when odds pop out. I, this is I'm recording this on Sunday night already. So you'll probably watch this on Monday morning. And there's still no odds on this fight on Pro Box. So when they do drop, I'll try to do a live Monday or Tuesday night. It, probably Tuesday night. Uh, if not, join the Patreon. I'll, I'll put all the bets in there. I'll show you what props to bet as well. Uh, but that's what I like. I like Rosario on the money line. And I, I, I probably like him on the over. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Again, I'm going to be gone all week. If you want to connect with me, join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. Link is in the description. It's also in that little banner below. Otherwise, I'm going to try to do another live or two this week. But I'm not going to probably have time to do any more videos like this. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Thoughts, comments below. It is August 19th, 2024. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.